Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me on a super fun video. It is where to splurge and where to skimp when it comes to your home, furniture, and decor. I've had this video in my to-do list for a very, very long time now. You guys might remember my collaboration with my friend Nick Lewis on Nick's design channel. You may have seen a ton of other videos on this same topic, but what I wanted to offer you is some fresh insight based on my experience, from my own clients, my own life, and my friends and family. I feel like I have so much to offer in terms of how to spend your money, so we're gonna jump right into it. My number one splurge item is anything handmade or artisan. I feel like a broken record at this point. I mean, I always talk about splurging and saving your money for those handmade, one-of-a-kind, key quality items that you could find pretty much anywhere if you just kind of keep your eyes peeled. You could source Etsy for really amazing handcrafted finds. You could also score something from your local flea markets like I've done in the past. What you're essentially looking for is something with a very handmade quality to it. That just means it's not machine made, it's not mass produced, it's not manufactured. I found with my experience that those quality original handmade pieces are the ones that I hang on to. The ones that I really cherish and love to show off. They look different amongst the mass-produced items that I've also collected in my home, and that is the key to longevity. Anything handmade in Artisan also includes artwork, sculptures, Artisan goods, handmade baskets, When you're traveling, keep your eyes peeled for handmade goods from local artisans. The next item has to do with renovations and remodeling. I want you to choose from these two options to see which I would splurge on and which I would skimp on. Contractor versus finished materials. If you chose the contractor, you are absolutely right. And I know that you've been following this channel for a while. I have an entire video dedicated to choosing the right contractor for your job. You absolutely must splurge on your contractor and skimp on the materials. Now, why do you need to do this? Materials come in all shapes and sizes. You really can't specify a budget material like porcelain or ceramic tile. Hire a really amazing contractor. Work with a contractor to lay out the patterns for your material and they will make it look like a million bucks. On the flip side, if you splurge on a quality material like marble or natural stone and you skimp on the contractor, that budget contractor might not do the material justice. So always splurge on the best professional that you can afford and skimp on the material since there are so many substitutions you can make.
The next item has to do with seating. The sofa versus sofa accessories like throws and pillows. Think about splurging on your sofa and saving on the decorative throws and pillows. Now, why do you want to splurge on your sofa? Well, mainly it's because you're sitting on it. You're sitting on it, you're touching it. This might be the main piece that your family watches TV on. This might be the main focal point in your living room when you host and entertain guests. Sofas can get very expensive, so my key designer tip is to save until you can splurge on the sofa that you are absolutely dreaming of. Check out this video in my dream space series. It's what to look for when sourcing big ticket items online or in stores. There's a whole section where I dive into sofas and seating, how the construction is made, what type of foundation, fabrication, and upholstery that you should be looking for. Decorative throws and pillows to me are really a dime a dozen. You can find really cool, inexpensive items at home goods that you can swap out intermittently. Target is also a really awesome resource for this since they regularly feature designer collaborations. Moving on to the dining room. Which key items would you splurge on? Dining chairs or a dining table? If you answer a dining table, you are wrong. <laughs> I would actually splurge on the dining chairs because you sit on it, you wanna be comfortable, you might be sitting back, you want something cushy, you want something soft, you want something easy to clean and easy to maintain. The dining table, on the other hand, is just a surface tabletop. There are so many different dining tables in all sorts of shapes and sizes and materials that you could find on a budget. Moving on to the kitchen. Let's talk about hardware versus cabinetry. If your answer was cabinetry, you are wrong. I would actually splurge on hardware. For the same reasons as a sofa and the dining chair, hardware is something that you touch every single day. We're talking about the hardware as well as the faucets and the fixtures in your kitchen. You open your cabinets, you open your drawers, you're constantly fiddling with the sink. You wanna make sure that everything you touch and everything that's tactile is something that you absolutely splurge on because that's how you stay connected to the items that are in your home. Versus cabinetry, cabinetry can come in so many different finishes. You can specify a very basic base cabinet like a beach or birch cabinet and the face of the cabinet is really what makes it special. Let's talk about area rugs versus carpet. An area rug is what I would absolutely splurge on because you could take the area rug from home to home, from space to space, from generation to generation. Area rugs can be passed down if they're made of really high quality fibers like wool, silk, cotton, jute, sisal. What you're essentially looking for is 100% natural fibers. Anything with a poly blend like polypropylene or viscose won't hold up down the line.
I have purchased so many inexpensive, cheap area rugs that the moment the kids spill something on it or the dogs soil it, you literally have to throw it away. You can't get water on it or else the synthetic fibers harden. Now on the flip side, carpet comes in so many different varieties, but the best ones actually have a synthetic blend woven into the fibers. This allows the carpet to be more durable, easier to clean, low maintenance, and sometimes even softer underfoot. So splurge on the area rug that you can take with you and skimp on the carpet that really only stays in one place. While we're on the topic of flooring, let's talk about wood flooring versus tile. I would absolutely splurge on wood flooring because clearly it's wood. We're talking about real hardwood and engineered wood. You would absolutely skimp on a material like LVP, luxury vinyl flooring, or laminate. The top layer is actually a digital photo of what real hardwood looks like. So since it's not a real hardwood material, definitely don't spend a whole lot of money on it. Moving on to tile. Tile comes in so many varieties. If you want a breakdown of the right tile for your home, check out my video on the ultimate guide to hard flooring. I break down a variety of flooring options that you can put in your home and tile is one of the least expensive and most durable options that you can install. So when you're looking to install a luxury type flooring like hardwood or engineered hardwood, definitely put your money into that type of flooring and skimp on something manufactured like tile. Let's talk about the bed. How about a mattress versus your bed frame or headboard? If you answered mattress, you are absolutely correct because why? You sleep on it. You really spend one third of your life on this bed. So spend a little bit more money on a quality mattress. Consider how you sleep and the type of mattress that will support you. I absolutely love my mattress. I mean, I was sleeping on the same Costco mattress for over 10 years. And while there's nothing wrong with it, there really was nothing right about it either. It kind of just supported me in a way that I didn't know what I was missing out on. It was really inexpensive. I want to say it was $500. And if you break down the cost per wear, it's like pennies at this point. However, when I decided to invest in a quality mattress, something with a pillow top, there was memory foam in it. it it also has cooling qualities to it. I mean, I'm someone who gets really cold at night and my husband gets really hot. So we're looking for a mattress that kind of supported both of our needs. Whereas the headboard and the bed frame, you can find a shape, a style, a finish, a material that you absolutely love. And since you don't lay on it, since you don't really touch it, maybe you lean back on it, you won't even know the difference. So invest in the mattress that you spend one third of your life sleeping on and skimp on the headboard or the bed frame that you can swap out when your style changes. Moving on to lighting. What would you splurge on? The light fixture or the light bulbs? What do you think I would splurge on? If you've watched Nick's video and you answered light bulbs, you are correct. I would splurge on the light bulbs and I would skimp on the actual light fixture. Now, why would you skimp on the light fixture? Pinterest makes it so easy for you to source designer duplicates simply by uploading a picture of your desired fixture into the Pinterest's search bar.
So if you found a really amazing light fixture online, in store, or it might be an incredible collectible piece, you might find a super inexpensive quality dupe for a fraction of the cost. However, when it comes to light bulbs, you should be sourcing energy efficient LEDs. If you've ever walked around your house and tried to count how many light bulbs you need to swap out in order to change it to LEDs, I mean, it adds up. LED light bulbs are just not cheap. But what you spend up front, you'll be saving down the line. And lastly, let's talk about window treatments. Drapery panels versus hardware and rods. I would absolutely splurge on custom drapery panels and skimp on the hardware and rods. Custom drapery panels just instantly elevate every interior. It makes your home look finished, well done, luxurious, and ultimately you can personalize it to every room in your home. Whereas curtain rods, hardwares, and finials are so high up, no one can really stand there and key into its fine details. Custom window treatments add the drama you need to elevate the interior of every room. Sometimes they fill up the entire wall. They add coziness, warmth, privacy, allows you maximum control over the type of lighting that filters the space. And the best part about it is that it can be customized to suit your needs, style, and taste. Now, how many of these did you guess correctly? I'm really, really itching to do all of these crazy makeovers for my own home. I've been house hunting for the longest time. I mean, I'm really looking to upgrade my home, but in the meantime, I'm all about investing in what you have now just to create the ultimate haven and sanctuary for yourself which means I'm gonna be doing a whole ton of upgrades. I had recently upgraded our mattress. I'm now looking into a really high quality sofa. I'll be remodeling my garage very, very soon after I'm done with all of these client projects. I'm looking for new dining chairs, looking for new artisans to work with. I mean, I'm choosing from this list and I really can tell you that these are the items that I absolutely splurge on, not only for myself, but for my clients. You are going to be spending so much more money down the line replacing cheaper items than had you invested in quality items from the get-go. So remember my motto, buy well, cry once. Spend on the things that you touch, see, feel every single day. And skimp on the items that are not really within your reach. What you'll find is that you create a highly customized space. One that shares your story and speaks your style. If you're loving the content and you like this type of video, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what was a big ticket item that you splurged on in your own home. Did you regret it? Or do you still feel like that was the right move? Share this video with anyone you know who's looking to make quality investments in their home and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.